If you press R or click the rectangle icon here, you'll turn on rectangle painting mode. If you press C or click the ellipse icon here, you'll turn on ellipse drawing mode. If you hold the ALT key while left clicking and dragging to draw either shape, it will lock the vertical and horizontal sizes together to ensure perfect squares or circles. If you press R or C while holding the SHIFT key, you'll turn on the filled rectangle or circle drawing modes respectively. The shape will by default be filled with the currently selected color. If you need to quickly draw a custom shape, you can press the V key two or three times or right click the line draw icon and choose either the vector line tool or the fill the vector line tool. In either of these vector shape drawing modes, left click from place to place and a straight line will be drawn from the point of your previous click to the point of your current click. When you connect back to your starting point or right click, the current shape drawing session will end. Sometimes you want to fill a shape with something other than a solid color. If you click the gradient selection icon here or press the Q key, the select gradient window will appear. Select a gradient of your choice or use the add button to create a custom gradient. Once you've selected your gradient, you'll see it near the top of the screen to the left of the gradient select icon. Now hold shift and press either the R or C key to select a filled shape mode and change the mode drop down option in the tool and paint settings section to any of the many gradient options and draw some shapes to see the effects. You'll see when you release the left mouse button, a dotted line is following your mouse pointer and originating at the center of the shape you just created. Experiment with positioning this dotted line and left clicking to see how this allows you further control of the resulting gradient relative to the shape it fills. Go down the list of gradient fill options and practice controlling them after drawing the shape so you understand all the gradient options at your disposal. Once you're done mastering the gradient fill options, let's explore the two brush fill options. Using the basic drawing and erasing tools, create a small design somewhere on the canvas. Press B and right click and drag to simultaneously grab the drawing as a brush and erase it from the canvas. Now that we have it as a brush that we can draw with, right click in a slot in the brush container just in case we need it again in the future and then select the Filled Vector Shape tool. Now using the Mode drop-down menu in the Tool and Paint settings, choose Brush Wrap. Draw a unique shape and release the left mouse button. As you can see, whatever you grabbed as a brush gets distorted to fill the shape you've just created. Now change the Mode drop-down menu to Brush Pattern and draw another shape. You'll see that the brush is now used as a repeating pattern used to fill the shape you've created. It should be noted that all of these fill modes are not limited to the filled shape tools. Press the F key or click the flood fill icon and then click anywhere you would like on the canvas. By default, ProMotion will fill the contiguous single colored shape you clicked on with whatever solid color, gradient, or brush fill mode you have selected. If you'd like the fill to affect every pixel on screen which is the same color as the pixel you're clicking on, just uncheck the Isolated Fill option in the Tool and Paint Settings section. Thank you very much for watching.